Rotherham away, it's the preview show. Here's Ryan Williams, the former Rotherham winger. Well, Willow, you were part of an important move on Tuesday night, weren't you? Um, that was a crucial goal, I think, in the season, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, to come back from first half's performance to how we did in the second half um, just shows our togetherness, our team spirit and our belief uh, in each other and kind of how we play. Um, and we managed to <coughs> managed to press them and catch them out and Bill's slotted it. So all in all, it was a good night. I think over the last five games, the performance levels haven't dropped. But over the last couple of games, the chances when they've, when they've come you take them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I think that was a big difference. I think even all of them three games that we did lose, I think we, well, we had clear-cut chances in all of them, and and uh, and maybe defensively they had kind of every shot they got was just kind of going in. So um, sometimes you get luck, and then sometimes you don't. And I think um, if you keep working hard, luck ends up ends up in uh, in your side of the court. Yeah, Tuesday's game keeps it alive, gives us a chance. This team won't give up, will it? No, no. <clears throat> we needed to win that. I mean, we need to win every single game now for us to uh, put the pressure back on other people. And still, if we do win them and they win them, then obviously, but at least we go down with a the fight. There's pressure on a lot of teams, ourselves included. Rotherham are another one as well. Um, it's going to set itself up for a fantastic game on Saturday. Yeah, I think everyone, everyone that will be at the game uh, will be in for a good one. Yeah. Two teams that have a very uh, distinctive style of play, um, and yeah, it's going to be it's going to be enjoyable. Uh, so really looking forward to that one. Rotherham, a team you you know all about as well. A previous player there. Um, yeah. Sure. What what are you expect on Saturday? It's going to be tough, isn't it? They're all going to be tough. Yeah, I mean, one thing you can guarantee from Rotherham is is hard working and togetherness. You know, um, that's one thing their manager believes strongly in. <coughs> so. Like us, they fight to the last minute. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be a physical game. It's going to be a tough game. You know uh, they've got some really good quality, um, and like I said, they'll work hard right until the end. So and um, your away fans as well. They've they've done their bit. They've sold out the away end. They've backed us from start to finish this season. It's yeah, no, no, they've been they've been really good, especially the other night. They were awesome. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm excited to see them. See them up there. Uh, it's always it's always a lot of fun when when they come away. Not just the men on the road. Oxford United women have three away games. Here are the thoughts of the manager, Liam Gilbert. Southampton, winners of the uh, Women's National League South, worthy winners. They're a good side. Yeah, absolutely. Um, congratulations to them and and fair play to them to do it the way they've done it. They had a lot of pressure with a lot of games to catch up, and I guess it shows the quality they've had in their squad. So yeah, congratulations to them. Can't win it. Your target can still be to finish second. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think we would want to just go out on a high, give the best account of ourselves. Obviously, third place we know is guaranteed, but our mentality is we want to try and finish as high as we can. You've also you drew with Southampton and you beat Ipswich, so you're competing with two big teams at this chance. Of, um, Sunday is difficult. Ipswich away is one of the games you've been looking forward to. Yeah, absolutely. We these are the games we want to play as, as managers and players, and you look forward to probably a little bit more than playing a team from the other end of the table. Um, and maybe that's where we need to be better <laughs> with our plan and how we approach things. But you really do look forward to these bigger games where you know it's going to be a battle. You know it's going to be tough. You know there's going to be finer details that make the difference. And I think we're looking forward to having a weekend off. It's been great. The girls came in refreshed Tuesday night. They were superb. Mm. Um, hopefully the same tonight, and we go into what is going to be a, a really tricky last week of the season. Which well, go on, explain to the people at home. <laughs> you've had a difficult week. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what we've done to deserve that. We've got three away games in the last seven days, and we've only had what, two <laughs> other games this month. Let's let's bang three in in a week, and it's all. What's we'll it? Going all the way to Ipswich, then back, and then to Southampton, and then back and out to Gillingham. So. It's all part of it. Yeah. The, the final question is, it's not a temptation to start thinking ahead to next season, give some of the younger players a chance. You, these are proper competitive, all three of these games, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I, th I think we've done quite a good job throughout the season of, of blooding in younger players when we've had the opportunity to. If you look at Libby and Billy, um, to give a few names, there are a few others to go with it, but they've probably been the most consistent or had the most opportunities. Um, so we, we are aware of that, but... Again, we want to give the best account of ourselves. We're 
we set ourselves a points target at the beginning of the year that we want to go and go further than. Yeah. Like we, that's that's who we are and that's what we're about. It's not settling for anything. We'll push ourselves and we'll see character and how the group deal with the adversity that we've got coming up in the next three games. Uh, overall, looking back at the season, I think we're in a better place now the winning side of it than we were at the start of the season that's all you can ask for yeah absolutely yeah I mean was it after the first two weeks of the season when we we dropped a couple of games we're thinking it's all doom and gloom it's going to be a tough hill and then the highs of what we were at, we got to where we got to and we're competing with some very big clubs um, I won't go into any semantics or details about <laughs> that but we I think we've given a hell of an account of ourselves and a lot of teams wrote us off and to be in and amongst it um I think is a credit to the group of staff players and what we've done at the football club. It's been a remarkable season in so many ways and one of the nice things is to see the development of Luke McNally who this time last year wasn't really getting in the side so we asked him how the year's been for him. A year ago you'd signed, you were here, you weren't really getting much of a look in, how hard was that a year ago for you? Um, yeah it's difficult though, Oshin is kind of a similar position yeah. actually so it's easy to and Sykes, he was probably the same way, I don't know, really I was in there, but um, you just have to stay patient and that's why I say to Oshin as well, you know, your chance comes, you just take it, so I knew that um, I knew that in the summer I'd have a better chance as the season went on, so luckily it's gone okay since then. You're not a patient person by nature, are you though? No, not really, I don't really like sitting around doing nothing, so um, yeah. Obviously, every footballer wants to just go out and play and stuff, so I'd, I'd be no different, you know. If I'd offered you the season that we've had, or the season you've had personally, maybe, you'd have taken it. The number of games you played, the experience you gained? Yeah, I think so. Like, obviously, you always want more, and, and the goal, obviously, this year is to, to get promoted, so my job isn't done yet, but yeah, I think I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't have taken um, the season I've had. I've been very happy with it, yeah. Uh, Gaffer's spoken recently about the importance of a settled back four. That's not really happened all season, has it? It's been chop and change. Yeah, it's been chop and change, but as I say, um, I said last week, my personal goal was always just to get as many minutes as I could, so it, it didn't bother me too much. But I think you can see, now that Elliot has come in and, and me and Elliot have played together in the last few games, I think it's gotten better and better. Mm. Um, and you can see in the second half, I think we've played a lot better together again. So. We're sort of striking up a partnership now again. It's, it's been stop and start. Every time I played with him, something's happened where either I've been gone or he's been gone um, with injury or something. So I think it's starting to get that continuity now, so it's good. If you look back over the season, I guess the big disappointment for you, the massive disappointment was not being better at the main game when we did that. <laughs> because you're the only person who's actually studied that and seen the league table. I mean, this next season I'll come up with a game. Do you promise you'll be a bit better at it? I was high up in that, Chris. You weren't that high up. I was no. eighth. Eight, seven or eight. Yeah, I've only asked about ten people, so mm. um, let's go on to football then. Uh, massive game. So there's no getting away from it. Two massive games. Yeah. You've got to win the first one. Yeah, of course, yeah. No, it's exciting. I've seen that we've, we've sold out the away end and all, so no, it's, it's really exciting. You'd rather have that than, than be, you know, be out with the last two games, so it's massive and we're all really excited now. Really excited. Uh, the goal went in Billy's goal on Tuesday. I mean, the scenes, that's why you came to Oxford, that's why you're here. Those scenes at the end yeah. were amazing, weren't they? It's, it's happened so many times, I think, this season. There's been so many like last minute goals at home um, that I can think of off the top of my head. There's so many, so um, I hope they keep coming. But yeah, it's heart attack stuff at times, but <laughs> that's why we enjoy it, isn't it? So um, let's hope for another good day on Saturday, yeah. Right, so hopefully there's a preview show for the playoffs, but there are two games left. Liam's done some of the uh, preview shows, Martin's done others. Martin will talk about the programme next week. This is your big chance to shine, your last <laughs> chance <laughs> on the preview show. I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to sort of interview you. Okay. During Covid, during lockdown, you weren't around the club. This has been yeah. a full-on season for you, hasn't it, yeah. within the club? How's it been? It's been fantastic. I mean, <laughs> the entire season has been, uh, we've seen everything, haven't we? Um, last minute winners at, at Hillsborough to... Um, last minute winners to get some games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, it's, been, it's been some season from, from start to finish. We've been to new grounds, which has been amazing. Um, it's totally different 
uh, went, went to some grounds last season without fans, um, and you, you never quite get the full picture of what a what a ground's like when when it's empty, do you? So, um, yeah, this, this, this season's been been brilliant. I, I'm I'm jaded. I'm knackered. I'm in my late thirties now, so I've I've been to all these grounds about a hundred times. But you've been to. Well, Rotherham was a new ground, isn't it? Yeah, it'd be my, my last ground to, to tick off in, in League One. So yeah, fi finishing the, the away games this season with the new ground, which is uh, which is quite nice. And um, yeah, I've heard good things about it, so it's another one I'm looking forward to. Which has been your favourite away trip? It's got to be Hillsborough. Hillsborough, yeah. It's got, it's got uh, yeah. Um, I, could, I could write a book about that trip <laughs> on, uh, <laughs> just on its own. Um, <laughs> we, we saw bits of South Yorkshire. Yeah, we ended up on the hills somewhere, didn't we? Um, yeah, and then nobody could find the van. We had an adventure uh, in Sheffield. It's always an adventure, isn't it? It's always an adventure. It will be on uh, on Saturday, I'm sure. Um, ticket situation? Tickets are completely sold out for Saturday. Um, we will not be getting any more allocations, so that is it, I'm afraid. Um, so, yeah, but again, once again, the fans selling out this time of the season, it's, it's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> we can't... Now, uh, two years ago, maybe, when this was discussed, I'd said, if it's a sellout, why can't we stream it in iFollow? Because we're not depriving anybody, it's just extra revenue to the clubs, but that's not permissible. It's three o'clock Saturday, so we can't do that. Um, so, sorry, you can hear it in iFollow. You can, well, if you haven't got a ticket, you're just unlucky, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, um, and if you haven't got a ticket, then make sure you get your Doncaster one if you haven't already, so. Yeah, if you can. <laughs> uh, in between those two games, there is a Senior Cup final next Tuesday. Um, we're playing Oxford City, that would be uh, a chance to uh, see some live football again down at the Court Place Farm. Uh, and on Sunday, you, what, you tell people, Sunday evening? Sunday evening is the end of season uh, awards evening, so we'll be um, announcing all the winners. Um, it's set to be yeah, quite an exciting night um, at, the, at the stadium, I'm sure lots of you have, have got your tickets already. It's Thursday lunchtime, um, you've got to do compilation videos for lots of it. Have you finished them all? No. <laughs> Taught him well, than my viewers do. Why would you do that? It's exactly. Thursday lunchtime. Exactly. So there's, there's still still plenty more highlights to come in, in my book. So see if we can work this out between us, because I'll, I'll get this wrong. This will take another take. We are going to present the young player of the year. Yeah. Oh, sorry, the Jack Casley young player of the year. The women's player of the year. Yeah. Go on, your turn. Uh, then we've got the community community uh, uh, person, person of the year. year. Uh, there's goal of the year, goal of the season. Goal of the season. Um, it doesn't influence the uh, judgment for me. Mm, it's that goal at Wigan for me. Yeah. It's for you yeah. as well, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I said that at the time as well. I, you, I, I, yeah, yeah. I gave you a nudge. And I said it, goal of the season. Yes, <laughs> nudge me as the goal went in. It's a goal of the season, <laughs> which was great because I hadn't seen it because Jack <laughs> bowled it out to the left and I was like, oh, it's miles from goal. I was writing something, so I didn't actually see that line. Uh, player of the season and players player of the season. Yeah. Which one do you think means more to the players, the supporters vote or the... It's got to be the supporters, isn't it? I, mean, I would think so. Yeah. Um, if you come into the dinner, great. If, you, if you're not, we will also present that trophy. It's the Andrew Natchin trophy. We will present that um, ahead of the Doncaster game on the pitch. Uh, last thing to do is thank you for your hard work this uh, season. You've been bang average, uh, which you know, <laughs> right exceeded, <back> yeah. <laughs> exceeded my expectations. Uh, have you enjoyed your your season in the sun? I have absolutely loved every minute of it. Um, it's you know following my team up and down the country is, is what I would do anyway. If, it, if yeah. I wasn't working ever, but to work within it and be within it as well, it just makes it that extra special. So yeah, enjoyed it very much. Thank Win, you. lose, draw, playoffs or not? Do you fancy doing another season? Yeah, why not? All right, we'll do that. We'll see you Saturday. <laughs>